In January of 2023, Chris Eubank Jr. found himself competing in a fight against Liam Smith and saw himself stopped inside of 12 in the fourth round. Mistakes can be made, but can they be corrected? Let's talk about repeat or revenge. As we look ahead toward Saturday, September 2nd's fight, rematch, Liam Smith taking on Chris Eubank Jr. in a repeat or revenge scenario, we have to reflect upon what took place the first go around. And that fight, which happened in January of 2023, it saw Eubank approached his then challenger, Liam Smith, with disrespect, not taking the fight as serious as maybe he, had, he should have, or to being very dismissive of what, spin, what Smith's accomplishments are in the ring. And so we have this situation now where Eubank has been pushed into a corner as he enters this rematch, Eubank Jr., who is now 32 and three with 23 KOs, is at a point in his career where he needs to get the job done. Entering the last fight, Eubank felt that Liam was nothing more than a bump on the road as he pursued a world title. But Smith upset him, actually moving up from a junior middleweight division to take on Eubank and stop him in the fourth round of their match. It was actually an unexpected ending to the fight because Eubank was winning the first couple of rounds by boxing. Entering that fight, he was trained by Roy Jones Jr. and had received criticism for trying to emulate Roy's boxing, I guess you could say boxing style. But Smith came into the fight and his record now is 33, three and one with 20 KOs. And he was not phased by what Eubank was doing with the legendary Jones in his corner. What Smith was able to do was pursue Eubank and take advantage of flaws that do exist in that Roy Jones style. He was able to find holes in Eubank's porous defense 
catch him in what I call that triangle area. And Eubank thought he could fight well off of the ropes, but in that style and demeanor that Roy Jones once exhibited, that was the area where Roy found himself at disadvantages several times in his career, including a couple of stoppages. So it's not surprising that Smith was able to catch a vulnerable Eubank Jr. under these circumstances. And when he caught up to Eubank in that fourth round, in that triangle area, he was able to pour on what would later become mired in controversy. And an offensive assault that he brought on to Eubank, where he caught Eubank, dropped him in the corner, leaving Eubank dazed, stunned, and without his bearings. As he rose for a count, Eubank was teetering on his feet. He would later say, which added to controversy, that he was hit with an elbow by Smith. And that's what really hurt him. That's what instantly raised a hematoma on his right eye. But you could see that Smith caught him with a timed shot and was able to tear into him. What's really interesting is these two men, Eubank is 33 years of age and Liam Smith is 35 years of age. Eubank is 5'11 with a 72 and a half inch reach. He's an orthodox fighter and so is Liam Smith as far as being orthodox, but 5'9 and a half. But timing will beat speed. And the athleticism that Eubank was supposedly able to show early on, it wasn't able to get him out of the dangerous places within this match. So going into the rematch, we are witnessing a humbled Eubank Jr. And will that be enough to make him buckle down? We know that he's made a change in his corner and now has Brian Bomack McIntyre, Crawford's trainer, that will be working in his corner. Will it be enough? I'm not so certain. I'm looking for Liam Smith to be victorious once again in this fight. And it's all because Eubank hasn't taken his career nor boxing serious. But what do you think? This is Stormy B-Man. Shout out to the mighty LDBC and Liberated Perspective, a third eye view of the world. For more content such as this, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Let me know what you think about this coming Saturday's fight. Peace to everyone and everyone remain safe.